so this video is just going to be all about casters wheelchair casters and nothing else so if that doesn't interest you go ahead and skip it wheelchair casters are those front two wheels on your wheelchair they're the wheels that are going to encounter a new terrain first in general unless you're going backwards um, they're going to encounter that new terrain first and they are going to be the ones that allow you to turn uh, side to side left and right without having to go back and forth like you would in a car so in a car you can't um, do a 360 degree uh, turn in your wheelchair you can because your casters go 360 degrees casters are the things that give you the ability to change your direction and they're basically what you use to steer your wheelchair they come in a variety of heights and diam heights slash diameters and widths so when we talk about diameter we're talking about from like this point to this point okay when we talk about width we're talking about how thick it is okay so this is diameter or height this is width width is how thick diameter or height is how tall it is okay so the larger the width is so the the fatter that caster is the easier it is going to it is going to be to roll over soft surfaces like dirt or sand or something like that because your weight is dispersed across a larger surface area so you're not going to dig into that material to that soft um ground as much so like think about if you were walking in heels and you're walking on dirt you've got a stiletto heel it just digs right into the dirt right or into the grass because it is a super small surface area that your weight is dispersed on okay if you're in wedge uh, heels or if you're in sneakers you don't dig in because your weight is dispersed across a whole lot more surface area same thing with casters if you're going across a surface that is soft like sand uh, grass dirt something like that it's going to be better to have a wider tire but the or the wider caster the wider your casters are though the more surface area you're pushing um against and the more friction there is so that's going to make it harder for you when you're not on surfaces like sand and grass and those kinds of things if you're just doing your everyday life which doesn't involve a lot of soft surfaces if you're going on hardwood floors and concrete and places like that pavement um you're gonna want a a smaller width on your caster because the smaller width is going to mean you're pushing through over and with less friction so not as much as touching not as much uh, surface area is touching the ground which means it's easier to propel yourself the um, smaller widths are great for um, for places like um, with hardwood floors with concrete with tile all those kinds of things but they're not very good at the soft surfaces so that's gonna make it a lot harder and you have to kind of figure out which activities you do a lot what you do more of personally me I'm not going over grass and sand and those kinds of things a lot so a a narrower width is a lot better for me because I don't want a ton of friction that makes it more fatiguing for me to propel then the next thing is your diameter so the diameter is the length up and down okay the the smaller diameter is going to mean that when you're going up and over bumps or cracks or things like that you're gonna have a harder time so you might have to pop a wheelie to be able to get up and over something if you have a really small diameter caster if you have a larger diameter caster, it's gonna be easier to roll over bumps and things like that. So I think about if your caster um, is this size and it is, um, and you've got a bump that's like this size, right? It is, e it is pretty hard for your caster to get up and over this because it's just gonna hit right into that. Like half of the caster is hitting right into the, um, into the bump. But if you have um, a bump that's this size, it is, or an, if you have a proportionally larger caster, right, and your, um, and it's going to be easier for your caster to be able to get up and over that bump. I don't know that that's the best way of explaining it, but basically, the larger height or diameter of your caster, the easier it is to get pushed up and over bumps and things like that. So that's why you see some all-terrain wheelchairs for like when you're going hiking or to the beach or things like that, and they have a um, very tall diameter. Um, because you're going to be going over pebbles, rocks, all sorts of stuff like that. So they've got um, a very tall diameter so that you can get up and over things easier. I'll go ahead and show you a picture of what that kind of wheelchair and caster would look like now. 
this is an example of an all-terrain wheelchair. You can see that these are very tall casters, right? Those are probably like 12 inch casters. They're huge, probably would not be at all useful in everyday life. Um, cause you're just not going over anything that that, that large and the wider your cast, the taller your caster is, the more, um, how the more it weighs. So these probably wouldn't be at all useful for you in everyday life, but for all terrain, um, they are super. They're going to be able to get you over these kind of rocks, pebbles, all that kind of stuff real easily. Another thing to think about with your casters is what they're filled with. So there are generally three different types of filling that are the most common. Two of them really aren't that common. Um, so the two that aren't as common are your air or pneumatic tires. So those are filled with air. They give you a much softer ride, but you have to do upkeep on them and they generally only come in larger sizes. So the like six inch diameter and above is generally what they come in. A four inch diameter is pretty standard for an everyday wheelchair. So you really aren't gonna be able to find, at least I haven't been able to find pneumatic tires that come, pneumatic casters that come in that small of a diameter. Okay. The thing about the pneumatics is while they give you a softer ride, the air tires give you a much softer ride, you have to do upkeep on them and they can go flat. And if that happens, it can be really sucky. There are also foam filled casters. These are going to give you a softer ride than solid casters, but not quite as soft as an air caster. Um, these are nice because they don't go flat. Basically they have an inner tube that's filled with foam and they don't go flat, but they require more upkeep because you're going to have to change them out. They go, they wear down after a while. Um, and there just aren't nearly as many options available as there are with solid. This one, these foam filled have the same issue that you do with air tires, but they only come in certain diameters and generally they're the larger diameters. Solid tires are the most common option. Um, they're what I think, I don't know, like 90% of the people I know have. Um, they're going to give you a bumpier ride though. So, um, it's, it's a hard surface that's running over um, concrete pavement or concrete um, gravel, all that kind of stuff that's like, that you can feel it, the vibrations coming up through your body, right? You're gonna be able to feel that coming up. Um, but they're not gonna go flat and they come in so many options. There are tons of different colors. There are light up casters you can get, although I wouldn't recommend those if you don't like attention. Um, and you can get them in different diameters and widths. Um, so those are the ones that I have right now. I'll go ahead and show you the specific caster that I have. A Primo caster. So this is what mine looks like. It is plastic um, and solid. So that is it. Um, it's not a, it isn't like the best of the best. It is just what insurance covered. Um, in my experience, this, there are a few no charge options that insurance will cover um, and that's it. So those are those are the options that are available to you. The nice thing about getting a if about the solid tires that are the solid casters so that you can change them out, right? Um, and you can find them pretty easily unlike the foam or the air casters. You could always have a set of solid and a set of air casters. Um, you just have to figure out what to do about um, diameter on both of them. Um, so a standard caster, I would say, is generally about four inches in diameter by one inch or one and a half inches wide. That seems to be a pretty standard um, size that most people use. Right now I have five inch casters and finding aftermarket or second hand casters to replace these with if I wanted to get a wider or a narrow caster has been difficult. Pretty much all of the ones that I see are four inch in, di in, four in diameter. Um, there is also another option called a soft roll wheelchair caster. So these ones are the same kind of thing that I have, except they have a polyurethane uh, coating. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like, a polyurethane edge. So here is what it looks like. Don't mind the arrow, but uh, here's what that looks like. So that black piece there, that is polyurethane. It acts kind of like a memory foam in the way that it will absorb shock and kind of uh, mold to what you're running into. So that means that you get um, less vibrations coming up through your body. Um, and the way that memory foam does, it'll absorb that shape, but then it'll come back out into its regular shape um, after the after the pressure, the, like after, after the object that, that went into the caster is gone, right? So these ones are supposed to um, be a much softer ride I personally don't have them. They do apparently wear down faster because it's a polyurethane. Um, 
but they seem like they would be the best option. Um, they are expensive though, and they don't have quite as many options um, available, and insurance won't cover them in my experience. So um, while that seems like the best option, it might be something that you consider getting um, secondhand off of eBay if you can, or if you want an upgrade for your chair later on, adding on those soft roll casters. Seems like it could be a good choice. Um, there are also what's called um, made by Frog Legs. So Frog, um, Frog Legs is a particular company that makes um, wheelchair things. So they make wheelchair casters, wheelchair uh, forks, different things like that. Frog Legs makes what's called the Frog Shield. This is supposed to help prevent from getting hair in your casters. So like just today, I cleaned out my casters and they were absolutely disgusting. So much hair built up in them. These Frog Shields here are supposed to prevent that from happening. I don't know if they are compatible with other types of uh, casters or if you have to be using frog leg casters, but they're only $19.99 for a set of four. So honestly, if it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. I would like to get a set of these. I have three German Shepherds and that definitely leads to a lot of hair in my casters. Um, so I would like to get a set of the frog shields to try and see if they actually work for keeping hair out of your casters or not. Um, if they did, there really wouldn't be any upkeep needed on your casters besides the occasional wiping down. Um, with your casters, you want to try and clean out the gunk that gets caught up in them because as you're rolling, like with the shopping cart at the grocery store, they're going to get hair that's caught up in them. And you can feel it when you're pushing a shopping cart that has really gunked up wheels, right? You can totally tell. And the same thing's going to happen with your wheelchair. So you can either go ahead and take apart the entire caster. Um, so you're going to take out the, the pin, the nut, and the pull off the caster and you can get hair out and do a deep cleaning that way. Or you can go in there and you can kind of take some scissors to snip around things to try and, and then some tweezers to pull stuff out if you can. Um, but if those frog shields work, then that would be a great option. I'll let you guys know if I ever end up getting them. Um, but that's basically everything I know about casters right now. Uh, let me know if y'all have any questions because if so, I can go and do some research or try and answer them for you if there's nothing, anything I didn't address. Um, but hopefully that helps uh, and you guys can make a better decision, better informed decision.